What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new 8.6 War Robots update. New weapon Spear here, and the new robot Nether, together with the legendary pilot, as you can see here. It gives the Nether robot for five seconds after using one of his dashes the shield break ability, because as you know, and as I know, also Pixonic knows, the game cannot be played without shield break abilities. And so that Harpy, Fafnir, Nether, they all have this with their legendary pilots built in. Um, you see here what's really very interesting about the brand new weapon um, spear the third shot deals more than 400% damage all right so we're having a full match coming up here just absolutely devastating the enemy with this brand new setup so let's go and enjoy this uh, but first I'm sure you've heard of Mechaarena before today's sponsor an awesome PvP shooter for mobile and PC where giant robots blow each other up use my QR code on screen the links down below to try it out for yourselves for free right now with my extra starter pack on top while I'm rocking the special Mech Arena Cup right here, let me tell you this is one of the last opportunities for you to get the soccer superstar Neymar Jr. as a limited edition pilot in the game. He's literally the best pilot in the game boosting your assault and missile weapon damage, while at the same time having a perk to boost your sprint, duration and how often you can sprint with your mech. And what do you need to do to get him? Nothing really, just log into the game for 7 days before December 18th and he's all yours! And additionally, only as a new player you have the exclusive chance to get a second Neymar Jr. pilot, the exclusive MVP edition for free also by partaking in this month's derby event also before December 18th. So make sure to use it because who can stop you with two of these pilots? <laughs> Mech Arena is completely free to play on mobile and PC and if you get it using my QR code on screen all the links down below then you can kickstart your play with a special starter pack worth $15 with an amateur crate, 308 coins and a Pulse Cannon 4. And then come find me in the game under the name Just The Money. Alright, so here we go. We're already getting some good kills here through shields, for example. Mars robots, no problem anymore at all. You just go right through their shields, you blast them into oblivion in a few shots, and these 500 meter range spear weapons that never have to reload actually inflict a lot of damage. You're gonna see it in this video here, because it's a long session of gameplay where I'll also be fighting titans and so on, right? There's also a new titan called the Aether Titan. This will probably be tomorrow's video. Uh, for now, I'm focusing on this brand new robot with the brand new weapons. Uh, and I want to show you the power of these four spear weapons on the new Aether robot. As um, for those... Uh, no, sorry. Nether robot. The Aether is the Titan and Nether is the robot. Right. Don't confuse this like I do all the time. Um, yeah, so what does the robot do? What does it can it do? Okay, so you have a dash. And while doing a dash, you have a directed energy beam to the enemy. I think 350 meters range. Uh, what that does is, it hurts the enemy really bad, it does a lot of damage. Maybe 25,000 damage or something, it's really a lot. It's not a marginal small amount of damage, uh, it's really good. Uh, and on top of that, you trigger uh, an EMP to the enemy. So, the moment he gets hit by that beam, uh, he can no longer use his abilities and uh, active modules, right? And it's a crazy, that's a crazy thing. Um, by the way, for those who are wondering, I'm, st I'm on vacation here, I'm in Thailand, and I'm not at home with my big recording studio. I'm have to, I have to do everything on the go with my laptop and my phone, and that's why, why things are a little different. And you may also hear some bass in the background. It's from a big party that's going on underneath uh, in this hotel, because for some reason I had a good idea. I, ch I choose a hotel that has a club and a party underneath. Yeah, so um, you have a, a dash. You have uh, this electricity beam with a lot of damage output. You have actually five dashes. A sixth one uh, with the uh, pilot ability that replenishes it at 50%, plus you regenerate them over time. And also you trigger that EMP. And on top of that, with a legendary pilot, three versus three V3 something, blah, 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 blah. The guy that looks like an ice elemental. Um, he actually gives you... Um, the ability to bypass energy shields, which you can see right here, we're bypassing right through his shields. I'm gonna dash, whoop, connect uh, the laser beam to him, deal a whole bunch of damage, and every time I do this, I re re replenish on my 5 seconds uh, shield break, so I can have this pretty much the whole time almost, unless I'm really crazy dashing all, the, all over the place. So. We're doing a lot of damage. You'll be surprised to see how much damage is going to be at the end of this video, guys. Uh, because we're we're going to be easily first. And like I said, I'm not using the Aether Titan yet. I was focusing on recording gameplay only with this four spear weapons. And I think it should be mentioned that we're talking about four light weapons. We're talking about light weapons. 
I have to stress this because these weapons are completely ridiculous and they outperform even heavy weapons. And it's just it's just stupid. It's just a joke because it shows brand new content must be hopelessly overpowered as usual and uh, nothing new. We all know we all know this happens, right? Uh, and no, I, I just don't accept this bullcrap anymore because we're talking about a light weapon and it can't be that a light weapon outperforms medium weapons. It's simply categorically impossible. Medium weapon has to be someone such and such much better than a light weapon, period. No arguing, no discussion, no exception. Medium weapon is stronger than light. And heavy weapon is stronger than medium, period. No discussion, nothing. But Pixonic isn't having that. New weapon comes out, must be too powerful, must be overpowered, such as this one here. Uh, I'm already a little bit enraged right now because I know that what the stats will show you later. We're running four light weapons. It's what I'm going to tell you here. So, um, yeah, let's just enjoy me whooping the crap out of a Heimdall Titan there. This guy with his four laser weapons, it's a Titan, didn't stand the slightest chance against this robot because I also have shields, of course, from the battleship. Um, and the damage output. It's just completely broken. 500 meters range, instant damage delivery, shoot break, break pretty much the whole time on this eight, a nether robot due to that legendary pilot. And um, yeah, you know, I, I, I like I like new content, I really do. Here I EMP'd him, he can't use his ability now. Um, I like new content, I'm a big fan of new robots, new weapons, I love it, right? But does it really have to kill the game every time? Does the game really have to die a little bit more with every single update that comes out? Or is there eventually this point where they realize that, hmm, maybe we should do things that, well, keep the game afloat and keep the game in the game, <laughs> you know? Uh, and uh, always bringing out new content that surpasses previous content is hopelessly more powerful. That's not the way to go. Um, especially when it when it requires nerfing pre of previous content that was, uh, you know, paid by and uh, invested by uh, by players with a lot of effort or money or whatever, right? So yeah, um, so many things going on with this game. But um, did you see what I just did? Did you see that I just killed a 100% Orochi with one shot? Again, we're talking four light weapons. Light weapons. This poor Orochi happens to be unlucky because my third shot is now happening. You can start and prepare the first two and then the third shot comes with 410% damage output. Boom! One hit kill. That was an Orochi and I just one hitted him with four light weapons. Yeah, that's War Robots. Um, yeah, so... I'm just gonna be honest with you. No, it's it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable that a light weapon does this. It's unacceptable that a light weapon has no reload and does all of that. Um, and um, nerf, nerf, immediately nerf, immediately nerf. Tomorrow I want to see this weapon nerf. Not in one week, not in one month when people have invested and bought it. Tomorrow I want a nerf for it because it can't be. It's absolutely ridiculous. It was play tested. We all saw what it was on the test server and as what a surprise it comes into the game completely game breaking. Um, right now by the way we're using the nether robot with four light weapons again of course because it's four light weapon slots uh, and in this video part you're gonna see the damage it does with its laser beam okay I'm gonna highlight this for you in just a moment um, and yeah so we're, we're doing some good damage with these four Kramolas. I have four Kramolas on it because I decided to also test the robot the robot with some different weapons as well. Um, and I decided to go with four Kramolas because they're not bad. Um, they're actually really powerful. However, once they are empty, your damage output is relatively low, right? You're, you're recharging really slow your ammo. And, um, and, that, and that's good because it, it means that the weapon isn't even more overpowered. We're having a, to deal with a lot of anglers now. A lot of angry anglers, and uh, but uh, it turns out that <laughs> uh, what a surprise! Uh, the Nether robot actually counters the angler quite well because the angler can never uh, hope to achieve uh, hitting him with his area effect because the Nether will always dash away. You're never gonna hit the Nether robot with the angler area effect. Every time you come out of your angler uh, effect, you get EMP'd uh, by uh, the Nether robot dashing doing extra damage, shield breaking you, right? So the angler robot actually gets, seems to get, I don't want to make it a definitive thing, but it seems to get bypassed pretty well. Now, we're gonna have a look at the laser weapon now, the laser damage. There is a Mar Mars robot in front of us. Look what I'm doing to him, I'm dashing at him, look at his health. 
And zang. Did you see that yellow part? That yellow thing is the damage we, we put away with just a laser. Nothing other, other hit him. Just a laser hit him. And, uh, and you can dash multiple times every time connecting that laser. Every time applying EMP. But of course, um, keep in mind, the EMP will only uh, happen once. And then he's got immunity against it. So, again, dashing left and right. Um, it's a little difficult. I, by the way, I did find a better solution now to have a better flame, frame rate while playing as well. Uh, I just record locally and then add commentary later over it. Um, 5.3 million damage, and in case you missed it, because I actually did forget to comment over it, the damage output of the first match here on... Um, where is it? Uh, on Canyon was 8.6 or 8.55 million damage. A light weapon. Light weapon. Nothing other used but this one nether robot with his four light weapons outperforming everything, outperforming the best player in the game aside from myself here by more than 100%. Alright, whatever. You, you, you guys tell me what you think about this, okay? Uh, for now, I'm gonna cut it here. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks Mechaarena for sponsoring this video. Uh, and um, yeah, check out Mechaarena if you haven't yet. Uh, and see you in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Mani signing off. Bye-bye.